So today we celebrate the epiphany. The epiphany, the word itself is a wonderful word. It means a manifestation of God's love for his people. A manifestation of God's love for you. And this manifestation continues after the birth of the baby Jesus. Today as we celebrate this feast day, which is all called, so called the feast day of the three kings, it's also called Little Christmas in the Hispanic tradition. In fact, interestingly enough, in the Hispanic culture, this is the day that the children get their Christmas gifts. This is the day they open up their gifts underneath the tree. Because it's a celebration of this is a day that Jesus received gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh, and in honoring his receiving gifts, the children receive their gifts. A wonderful tradition, if the children can wait that long. <laughs> gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Three interesting gifts brought by the three kings, or the wise men, as we're calling them, or astrologers from the east. Gold, the gift of gold. It recognizes in this child who was born in a manger that this child is royal. In fact, more than royal in his dignity. He is the king of all kings. And so they recognize his kingship and his divinity by the gift of gold. Frankincense. Frankincense, incense are used in the celebration of offering prayer. And so it's a recognition of Jesus, this child born in a manger, who comes to us as priest. All of us are called to be priests, to be in service of one another and to give praise to God. Incense, the gift of prayerful praise. And myrrh. Myrrh is used to bring healing and hope to people. Myrrh is a fragrant ointment that is brought to people to bring health and good health into their lives. This Jesus who was born in a manger comes to us, to his people, as one who brings hope and one who brings healing. Today we celebrate this manifestation of God's love for all of you. And we celebrate it with gifts that have been given to the Christ child. Gifts that in turn he gives to others. He reminds us that we all belong to his kingdom. He reminds us that he loves us in and through the hope and the prayer that he has for us. And he reminds us in the healing that he brings to all of his people. Gifts given to him, given back to us. And that's how we're to model our lives as followers of the Christ. What's been given to us as a gift, we share with others. Happy Epiphany.